sometimes you're just gonna have to allow yourself to feel shitty. Feel like, eh. With the awareness that this too will pass with the understanding that this is also a period. There's a difference because most people identify with their depression, with lack of energy, with they hit a slump in their life and nothing is happening. And they're like, eh, going through that. And they really identify with it. Or you recognize it that the life force, that which was running you before and you were all gone home with a lot of energy and that same thing was making things happen for you, everything was coming to you, that same energy is not happening right now. Recognizing it, that, okay, I'm just like unmotivated. And relaxing into that part, allowing to be unmotivated, You allowing yourself because you're allowed, you know, you're allowed to not know, you're allowed to also be down, you're allowed to feel depressed. You're allowed to be confused at parts in your life. That's part of the deal. You're not supposed to always know everything, to be high energy and go or to feel great or look good or be in shape or... No. You're allowed to not know and be sluggish or, or be unmotivated, as well as you're allowed to be full of energy and motivated and clear and go for it. All of it is allowed. Okay, but so what, what happens when you need a solution? Like what happens when, you know, so relax and allow, and I get that, but what happens when, you know, the bill has to be paid or you need a new place to live or because what I'm finding right now is that um, a lot of the a lot of the space where miracles take place has kind of been challenged I'll say by what's happening with you know the fear that's being the illusion that's being portrayed you know that seeing who's following these lies and who's following the myth and who's not. And it's really, it's really maybe God's doing it, but it's like enhanced the separation, not, not enhanced it, but it's, you know, maybe you could accept a miracle from somebody who didn't think exactly like you, or maybe wasn't spiritually as tuned in or not, but you could still meet on some common ground. Whereas I feel like this whole virus thing has almost been designed to make people afraid of each other. So now when you're in that space where you really, you have the kind of faith for a miracle, but you need one, you know, it's like, do you just meditate deeper? You just tune deeper into that electricity because it is in all of us and something, is this just more of a test from that source or what? Because it just seems like people aren't as, I don't know, it's shifted their attitude. You know what I mean? Not people like us in this group, but I think we're the minority and, and that's okay. But I mean, do you, can you speak about what I'm talking about? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I understand 100% what you're saying. So consciousness is the only thing there is. God is the only thing there is. Everything, every single thing in the manifest world is that. There is nothing outside of God. 
There's never been anything outside of God and there would never be anything outside of God. It's all that, including the pandemic, including the virus, including the whole shebang, the whole thing which appears to be uh, designed, all of it is a part of God's will. Because nothing can operate or happen unless the source wills it. Because there's nothing separated from that. Nothing is outside of it. So, human mind, so first, we want to bring ourselves back always to that place of recognizing it and seeing it, that it's the will of the Allah, it's the will of the source that this is happening. There is no other thing independent on its own that could make this happen. So recognizing that, it brings tremendous relief. However, we keep forgetting and then we get reminded again. We just have to come back to this place, constantly coming back to this place. Then in the apparent world, the world that appears to be, and it looks like it's in separation, what it appears to be is going to do its thing. It's going to do its dance. So right now, there's the appearance that people are afraid of each other. This is what the dance is right now. This is what's happening right now. what's going on, whether it's designed by the big boys did it, or it happened, which, you know, I don't think it just happened on its own. It was designed, but still it happened in the apparent world, the world that appears to be real. It looks like there's others and these groups, other people that are separated from me, they created this thing to manipulate. But there is no separation between me and them. There are aspects of my own self. So I see that. I see that there is no, but yet still as an entity, a human being entity that operates in this world that has needs, like I need a place to go to, that it's quiet, to sleep, I need a vehicle to drive, I need gasoline from it, for it, I need food, I need clothing, I need my cell phone, I need to make money to pay for these things. All of these things are in the apparent world, the world that we appear to be in it, are necessities and you have to take care of it and deal with it. However, you always come back into the place, to the source, that that which has created me is also responsible to carry me. Something has created me and created the world because I definitely didn't create myself. And I didn't create this world. I don't have any recollect recollection on it. And obviously, I don't have any power over it either. I can't do anything. I can't manipulate it. Because if I had any power over it, I would have manipulated and would be getting everything I wanted to get. But in so many ways, I seem powerless. So something much bigger than me has created this. And whatever that is, operates my body. My digestive system is working without any interfer interference from me. My cardiovascular system is working. My nervous system works. 